on our way through the German countryside to meet one of the Bundesliga's most intriguing players. He's been with Hoffenheim for eight years. Sayad Salihovic is known for his free kick technique. And later this year, he'll get to show it off at the World Cup, playing for his home country, Bosnia. Salihovic was a child when he and his family fled the war there. Today, he lives with his parents in South Germany. He began his professional career with Hertha and earned his first cap for Bosnia while with Hoffenheim. We talked with a midfielder about his background and how it formed him. You lived in Bosnia until you were seven. Tell us about your childhood there. I just finished the first grade when the war broke out. We had to move away. I can't remember that much about what happened. We had to decide whether to move, emigrate, or stay and fight for our lives. My father decided the family should move away. Your first impressions of Germany? Many members of my family had come to Berlin, and that made it easier for us. We got a lot of help. I adjusted to Germany and the people I met here pretty quickly. It didn't take me long. I learned German quite fast. You've said that in Berlin you didn't really appreciate the fact that you were a professional football player. What exactly did you mean? I always loved playing football. It wasn't that. Berlin's a big city. You never go home. You go out. You don't ever relax. And then you're always tired when you practice. There are so many distractions in Berlin. And we were young. I think a lot of people didn't really understand that. They expected us to be dedicated football professionals. But we were just 16, 17, 18. That just wasn't going to happen. We wanted to have some fun. As a footballer, you live in a bit of a bubble. Do you feel that some of your colleagues have no idea how privileged their lives are? Well, I have my own opinion about that. Loads of people with normal jobs think, oh yeah, pro football players lead cushy lives, make tons of money. Sure, it's a great life. But we put a lot of hard work into it. People seem to think that playing football is easy. But we're under a lot of pressure. I feel a lot of responsibility for my family, to provide for them, which I've helped to do for many years. And I've got a big family. We all went through a lot during the war. We lost many loved ones. We lost money, too. That was a lot of pressure for me. It's not such a great feeling. How does your background affect the way you play? It has a huge effect. I'm a fighter. I want to win. I've always had to fight in my life. I've always had to look out for my family, look after myself. I'm not someone who's relaxed. I don't dwell on the past. I like to look ahead, whatever happens. Your first World Cup tournament with Bosnia is coming up. Tell us about what it was like there when you qualified. It was incredible. Sheer relief across the whole country. We could see that people were really behind us. They really wanted us to make it. There was a real sense of solidarity. I think the war brought people together. And something like this made them happy. There were 50,000 people on the street standing on their balconies. It was amazing. What did your parents say? My parents cried when I phoned them. They wept with joy that their small country was going to take part in a World Cup, and in Brazil, for the first time.